Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Nokia or Microsoft Lumia 635 and it should be equivalent to the 630 or 635 depending on uh, which you have in the region you live in. But first step is uh, you download Windows Insider and then you go to get preview builds. First you have to register as a Insider and then you can choose the Insider Fast Mode which allows you to get the Windows 10 build. And then you have to go and then check the phone updates once your phone is activated to receive a preview build. Once you do that, you download the preliminary updates. And then once you download the preliminary updates, you can go in and get the real updates. And then once you get the real Windows 10 update, uh, that will only show up if you're charging. You can uh, install that. So you actually have to install two big updates and then there's a lot of downloading and stuff in between so it kind of takes a while to uh, actually get on the Windows 10 build. Once you're finally on it, it sets everything up and then you're put on the home screen. And once you're on the home screen you can see that it looks more or less the same. But what's different first is the notification tray. So you can see some tiles peeking from the top and then it sometimes it lags when you put it back you'll see it does that a lot but when you bring it down you can actually expand it and see the different options now instead of just four you can have twelve tiles if we go into the settings we can see the settings have been completely redesigned uh... trying to probably follow that of windows ten on the computer and then everything is is kind of smaller more uh, you could say PC oriented is kind of like a mix between the PC operating system and a phone operating system so it's kind of lost and stuck in between and hopefully they sort those things out by the time the operating system is released this is a very early preview so a lot of things are unfinished the browser is still the old browser and most of the OS is still like it was before so you can see here the new settings and and the way it looks and everything inside of it Something a little weird though is that when you actually open things, it, they kind of look like links and then those links take you to the old Windows 8.1 apps. So as you can see here, the same uh, Lumia settings are there from from before. So those are linked to from the Windows 10 settings application. Now if we keep looking around there's the recently installed that shows up on top and you can clear that easily so it's actually good because sometimes you'll lose you know whatever was recently updated or installed and you won't know where it is Cortana seems to be changed and look more PC like and uh, they're using a lot of white backgrounds even though the theme is set to dark so hopefully they, they fix that the browser is still the old one they didn't update it to uh, Spartan so that'll probably come in the next preview. If, uh, looking at multitasking, it's still the same, but there's that bright blue background. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't look too nice. If we go back into the settings, we can just look around and see the personalization options. So if you look at background, now you can tell it's really unoptimized because uh, things are taking a long time to load and on 8.1 the 635 was pretty snappy considering the hardware it had but uh, you know like all previews they're very unoptimized and I remember from the Windows 8.1 preview on the Lumia 1520 it was actually a horrible experience and something that was fixed through optimization so I'm sure this will be good by the time it's released the personalization settings are still more or less the same you can do the light or dark background. Something interesting though is if you expand the tiles and then you go back, they stay expanded. And I don't think that's something good. I think they should always collapse when you put the tray back up. The OS is more or less the same. You probably won't notice any difference, so I don't recommend updating because you'll lose a lot of those optimizations that they had on Windows 8.1 so you're not really gaining anything by having this preview unless you are a developer and you want to try your applications on Windows 10 before it's released so 
So looking around, everything looks the same. Nothing's really changed. The way you change the tile size is still the same. Uh, it's the Cortana icon where that black square is is actually missing. So I guess you can't pin Cortana anymore like you could on Windows 8.1. The volume sliders are still the same. Those haven't changed. The OS as a whole doesn't really have too much in it. So it is just based on what applications you have. You can see here they're still using Xbox Music, which isn't too great. And yeah, overall, the preview just has a new background layer and the new settings, more or less. So that's it for Windows 10 Preview on the Lumia 635. As always, like, subscribe, and have fun.